Hi folks, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. This is Dan here for the Kraut Kramer instruments and in particular the DMS Go. And I have a kind of a special application. Uh, I had a question from a customer the other day, uh, particularly asking about K-Pen probes. So delay tip, very small contact area, uh, pen shaped probes. And the customer was asking if these could be used with the DMS Go. While we do not have a specific probe definition file already set up on the DMS Go, you can start with one of the available files and with a few tweaks of the instrument settings, you can have it working quite well with the, with the K-Pen. One of the real advantages of the DMS Go is almost all of the instrument setup parameters are available to you as a user. Now we give you the predefined uh, setups to make it a lot faster to get a probe connected, calibrate, get inspecting. But you can make the instrument work with a great many different probes that maybe weren't specifically designed for thickness gauging or use with the, with the DMS. And the, the K-Pen is one of those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a probe that is close in design. And one of my favorite probes for thinner materials on the DMS Go is the Alpha 2 DFR, our classic delay tip probe. And this is close conceptually to the uh, K-Pen. So let's go ahead and we'll select the Alpha 2 DFR short. So the shorter delay tip as a starting point. Let's go ahead and we'll connect our K-Pen. And one of the thir first things that I notice when I've connected my K-Pen is that the delay tip is just slightly longer on the K-Pen. And you notice I have uh, the delay tip echo uh, standing up on the screen right here. So I can come down now on the probe and cal menu, find my probe delay parameter, and let's increase the probe delay and we'll walk that echo, we'll walk that interface echo over to the left side of the screen. Okay, you see I can dampen that echo out. I know that's the, the end of my delay tip. Okay. And because we're using multi-echo measurement modes for the delay tip probe, especially on thinner materials, Getting the exact right probe delay isn't all that critical. And with my classic straight 20 meg K pen here, I found about nine microseconds is good. It puts the echoes over to the left edge of the screen. My gates are starting at a reasonable place with respect to the, the uh, interface echo. So let's take a look. Um, now the K pen is going to be best used with thinner materials. I have a block here uh, with a 0.1 inch thickness. One thing with the K-Pens, it's advantageous to use an extremely viscous couplet. Um, I have some SLC 70 here, uh, shear wave couplet. Um, you can do this with, uh, with other couplets. Vaseline uh, can work nicely. Um, you know, anything uh, relatively viscous. Now, the next thing about using a K-Pen is they are extremely fussy about orientation. It's critical that the probe be presented to the part exactly square to the part. Because of the very small contact area at the end of the delay tip, if you get the probe off angle even just a little bit, as the sound beam goes through the part and reflects back at the angle at which the probe is tilted, it's very easy for the sound beam coming back to actually miss the end of the probe. So one of the real advantages to using uh, the DMS Go is you have a pretty rapid uh, update rate. Uh, you're typically firing 16 shots per second in the DMS Go. And you have a nice live color A scan so when I put the probe down, I can see if I'm presenting the probe nice and square to the part, I can peek up the echoes and I can tell whether I'm set up or not. Now you notice that even when I get perfectly square and my signal is peaked up, I still don't have quite enough 
amplitude to trigger the gates. So I can go into my measure menu, go up to the max gain mode, I'll switch that to manual, and I'm going to increase my gain here to sort of mid 60s. Let's go to like 63 or so. Now you notice when I get the probe on, I get it squared up. And the signal's peaked up. Now I'm breaking the gates. Okay. And I'm getting readings. Now it is still trying to do automatic gain control. So it's adjusting the gain even after I've um, peaked up the probe. And uh, it may be advantageous to go and turn automatic gain control off and just stick with a manual gain setting. And then the gain is not changing on the instrument. This is just my hand shaking a little bit and changing the, uh, the way that I'm coupled. Okay. But just that simply, I managed to get uh, even with no defined setup for the K-Pen, I could start with my default setting for the Alpha 2 DFR short. I need to change my probe delay to get the, the interface echo over to the left edge of the screen. And then because the, the uh, K-Pen has a different sensitivity compared to the Alpha 2, I need to make some adjustments to my gain. So I go to the measure menu and I can either turn AGC off or I can go to manual mode and increase my max gain to mid 60s. And there we go. So that's it. That's uh, one way to get the DMS Go adjusted manually to work with the KPEN probe which doesn't come with a predefined setup file. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to remote service at bakerhughes.com and we are always uh, happy to help you out. Thank you for joining me again. This is Dan with Crowd Kramer and we'll catch you next time.